All right, so we're going to translate, um, which is another way of saying go from words to expressions or equations. We're going to translate and solve um, either expressions or equations. Remember, you can translate expressions, um, you can translate equations, but when you actually go through and try to find the answer, you can only solve, only solve equations. You can simplify expressions, but you can't solve. All right, um, instead of me going through and writing all this down on video, I just wrote it up front. There is a process that I like to follow. Sometimes people can just figure things out and that's okay. Um, I don't know if that works consistently. I know that this works consistently. So I wanted to show a method just to make sure that we can work with word problems, right? Um, the rationale behind all that is sometimes people will say, um, well, what is this math or how is this math gonna help me in my real life? And I don't really get into that conversation a great deal unless people are really interested. Uh, but I will say this, um, if you want math to describe your life, you have to use words. And once you put words around the context or in a context and you figure out what the actual issue is, then you solve that problem, solve that equation, if there is one, using words. So the best way to describe or how math will help you in your real life is by using word problems. So we need to use those. We're going to apply what we know to word problems. So sometimes they're called application problems. All right. So let's translate them from go from words into the actual expressions and equations. I'm probably going to do this over a couple of videos just because I don't want them to be really, really long. So the process first, read the problem twice. Read it the first time to get all the way through and then read it a second time to start noticing stuff. All right. Next step is to assign a variable. So we know there is an unknown um, or otherwise there wouldn't be a problem. If we don't know exactly what it is, we need to assign a variable so you can work with that, either in the form of an expression or in the form of an equation. Now, it may turn out that sometimes there will be more than one unknown in the equation. So if there's more than one unknown, assign the variable to the one you know the least about. All right, so you'll know there'll be two things you're trying to find out. One of them you'll know a little bit about, one you won't really know anything about. The one that you know nothing about, that's the one you want to assign a variable to. I'll show you that in an example. Um, once you have assigned the variable, write an expression or an equation. It might be a couple of them that are related, but use that information that you found, like what um, X stands for, for example, to write an expression or an equation. When you write the expression, simplify it. If it happens to be an equation, solve it. When you're done with that, check for reasonableness. I'm just saying if you come up with um, negative 0.23, but the question is talking about how much money did you make this week? You know there's a problem somewhere because you won't make negative 0.23 dollars generally, right? Not on these problems especially. All right, so with all that talking out of the way, let me slide down a little bit. Here's a very quick example, um, not a really, really deep one, but I just wanted to get us into the, to the flow of actually simplifying expressions, all right? So here's one, or, you know, translating equations. Nine more than three times a number is 15, all right? Find the number. So all I really want you to do first off, according to this, is read it twice, right? So nine more than three times the number is 15. Find the number. Now you could sit back and start figuring it out and start putting down tick marks and trying to do all that, which is a method, right? But let's just try to be more consistent. That's the whole point of doing these videos and doing this in class. What is the unknown here? Let's use the variable X. The unknown is the number, right? It says find the number. That's what we don't know. That's what we're trying to find out. Now, after we actually assign the variable according to these rules over here, we need to, and it says something about there being more than one unknown, but we don't have more than one unknown. We only have one unknown, the number. After you have to find that one variable, let's write an expression or an equation. Well, when I read this, there are a couple of things that jump out. More than, which implies plus to me, there's a nine, three times, which implies multiplication to me. The number is, which implies equals to me. So it looks like this is gonna be an equation. Let's write that. Nine more than three times the number. Now you need to know what the number is. You're gonna have three times that number. But not only that, you're gonna to need to find nine more than that. So nine more than three times a number is 15, all right? So we just translated this expression into this expression, but wait, there's an equation.